Hello everyone and welcome to Sunburned Out Vinyl Plays 1001 Spikes. I'm going to press, I'm going to drag the mouse button over to the options button right now. And we are right in, this is sort of the part two because, uh, you know, as you can see, I beat 10.4 or 10-4. And you know what? It's an absolute pain in the ass. It is probably the hardest level even harder than the one I died 94 times on, even though I only died 35 times on this one. I still think that this is technically harder. I just got lucky earlier. Uh, so that's how I feel about that. I'm going to show you how it works, even though I really don't want to, but I'm going to anyway. Oh, God. I hate this level so much. It's so demanding. It is so goddamn demanding. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, bad start. Uh, but that's fine. You know, you can kill the penguins like this. Uh, I seem to have be having an issue backstabbing penguins. Apparently it can be done, but, like, I don't understand. Because about half the time I try to backstab a penguin, I die and the penguin doesn't die. Okay. Oh, good. Oh, wow, that was close. Yeah, uh, but I'm going to tell you, because I think I was, I feel absolutely not bad about the fact that I could not figure out this level before. Because it's so... It's so dumb and, like, so... It's such an abstract, like, strategy that you have to employ to get past this part that when you see it, I think you'll be as blown away as I am. But this comes down to... Crap, okay. He needs to not aggro to me yet. Uh, but once he turns his back, he if I stand over here, he won't, you know, like, start freaking out. But, you know, once you got to this point, you we were like, okay, so I get stuck up here if I do this jump thing. So I need to find one of those things to shoot. But, like, there was none to be found. Except you can shoot that one because... I But I didn't know that before because the penguin is never not in front of it. But even when the penguin is directly... Shit, okay. Focus? Okay, even when the penguin is directly like, level with it, it still hits the thing and doesn't hit the penguin. But that's something that, like, how would you know unless you tried it out based on luck somehow? So I don't feel bad for not being able to do that. Now I think the hardest part of this part is this jump, and I cannot believe I did it on the first try. But I have beaten this level. I know how to beat the level. It's just gonna be such a pain. Because there's one more part that is pretty much a crapshoot of whether or not you're gonna make it. And uh, it's coming right up here. It's not this next thing, but it's the thing directly after it. So you hit him, and then you do this, and jump, and that's fine. And then you're supposed to aggro this penguin while he's to the right of the mirror thing. And then you have to jump down and navigate through like what he's going to be doing with these spikes here. And that takes a lot of perfect, perfect timing. And I'm not even sure that I'm going to be able to do it this time. Like, you'll see. He's going to aggro... We jump down. See, I barely did that. I probably should have died on the spike there. And also, this jump might also be a pain. Oh, but we made it, and that's the end of this level. So, there you have it. I could not believe that I actually figured this out. And it was actually it li it literally, like, two tries after my last video ended is when I decided, like, I'm just going to shoot the freaking mirror. Even with the penguin right behind it. And it hit the mirror. And I maybe should have like noticed that because that's happened somewhat in the beginning. Uh, but we're still sight unseen with this next level here. So let's see what we've got going. Oh, okay. Uh, there is death awaiting us in the bottom there. Oh, god dang it. I've already screwed this up. And that also makes sense. Crap, don't die already. Okay, so here then. And then we go down here. Those are spikes. Okay. Uh, I assume that we have to, like, jump down there. Oh, this breaks. Okay. We have to jump down there and then... <laughs> that was the worst, worst attempt at anything that anyone has ever seen. Oh, God, man. Okay. I really, I like the looks of this level a lot better. Uh, than the last one. Of course, I said that about the last one. I said that the last one looks really fun, and then it turned out to be that piece of crap, so... But now we make it here, and yeah, I'd assume that that would break. 
And I can still make that. This will probably break and I'll have to go up here and then that's that's fine. And then we're here. All right. Oh, this is going to be I even like shoot the dagger above it and that kind of pisses me off. Like that's not something I can control. Like when am I supposed to shoot then? On the way down? I'll be dead by the dagger will have hit me at that point. I probably should jump from the block, but this is po this is perfectly possible uh, to just forego that whole experience here. Uh, but that's that's straightforward. Oh crap! <laughs> yeah, see, that's what I would think would happen every time. Uh, but I think apparently I should just like push through when that you know kind of stuff is going down. Okay. Okay. We're safe here. Oh, uh, as soon as I jump up, there's going to be another freaking thing to hit there. So I think I can do a little jump real quick. Yes, I can. Okay. Then we stand here. And shoot that, apparently. And then this is all fine. Does this shoot it? This doesn't... Like, you can tell, this one looks broken compared to, like, the other ones. So, yeah, I wouldn't think it would shoot at me. Oh, I hit the thing again. I don't know, maybe that's not such a bad thing. I'm wondering what the deal is with this ice... If I'm supposed to push it and then follow it, or push it and then, like, jump down there and make it through that area. But I don't really see any harm in just following the ice, although I'm sure I will, you know, as soon as I try it out. That was bad. That one fell before I even landed on it. Okay. Okay, that works out fine. Then we make it... Okay, there's the key. I didn't, like, even see it before. Uh, but this is, like, a huge... Yeah, see, that happens, and then I don't know what to do. I Clearly time it better, but it seems like the window for that is so unbelievably short that I uh, can't really rely on my ability to... Oh, maybe that's better. Okay, that's a- whoa, that's a lot better to do, okay. Then we can do this. Then we'll hit that, and make it over here. But I'm gonna just- I'm gonna follow the ice cube and see what happens the first time. Okay, so that's why you don't want to do that. Understandable. I mean, clearly you would expect that it wouldn't be that easy. Uh, but still. Okay. Then we're here. So I guess what we do is we push it and then we come back around the bottom here. But I still don't see why I would need it. Maybe I'm supposed to... Oh, push... I'm supposed to, like, turn it around so it'll go that way. And then I can't follow it any further that way, so then I would do this for some reason. Oh, and then I'd be able to follow it that way. But then I wouldn't have the key. So this would... And I can't make it there. Okay, and then we'll hit this again then. And then fall... Okay. I obviously need to hit this again. I need to hit another thing somehow. I don't know. Oh, and then it'll be okay. And then the ice cube will rest here, and then I'll be able to jump on it. Gotcha. All right, let's give it a shot then. I like this level. You know, there's lots of there's lots of stuff that's 
Everything is sort of like held together. Uh, so that's neat. And it doesn't feel frustrating. Like, you know, you this is just sort of a learning experience. I know I say that basically every time, but like this really doesn't feel... This feels like constructive criticism, basically. Like every time you try to do something different. And then the game's like, hey, don't do that, but this is what you should do instead, and it'll be better. And you're like, oh, thanks, I understand now. Okay, so then we push it this way. Crap, okay. I think bad timing. Well, I shouldn't have done that. I should have known that, like, it was gonna... You know, bear down upon me like that. Uh, but after this, there's only, like, two more levels in the Antarctic. So we are approaching the end of this harsh, bullshit uh, group of levels. And boy, am I glad for it. Then I can start doing... I can start going back to easy stuff and do character with the real game. And I'll like that. I will like that a lot. Okay. And then... Push it this way. Okay, don't do that. Although, actually, maybe that's... No, because... Oh, crap. That's right. I forgot about you. Because that's still that block is still unbreakable, and I still need that ice cube for to be able to land on it. Uh, but we're all we're all learning stuff here. That's fine. Then we can do that. And this part's pretty easy now. And this is like the first third, I would assume, the first like third of the level. So now we go all the way down. And push. And don't break the block yet. Now do it. That's pretty good. Oh, but now what? There's nothing I can do here. So this is not the solution either, apparently. Well, that is troublesome, isn't it? It probably does have something to do with breaking a block. Like, breaking that block right next to the... Well, breaking all these blocks, really. Interesting. As of now, the solution is foreign to me, but hopefully that will change as I gain new knowledge and, you know, all that stuff. Maybe... I keep it that way and then I don't have to shoot anything. But then what purpose does that serve me? Minus one step? I don't have to, like, shoot the thing anymore? One more... One, one of the things anymore? That doesn't seem like that's gonna help much. See, that was probably not the right thing to do. That was clearly not the right thing to do. Okay, I guess I can skip that if I'm fast enough, but it's, you know, it's, a, it's, it's risks, you know? There's no reason to take unnecessary risks. Okay. So now we drop down, hit it. But I still don't understand how this would work then. Oh! I almost guarantee you that's not how I'm supposed to do it. Oh, you would do that, wouldn't you? 
Like, I expected it to be spikes. I didn't expect it to be the quick spikes that I couldn't get away from. Speed run time. That was the worst. Worst ever. Okay. Get back to where we were. Figure more of this out as we go. That's right. Small jump, and then big jump. And then big jump, and then small jump. There we go there. Then we can wait. There's not really a time limit at this point. Whoa, that was really close. Okay, made it. Oh, those would be spikes, wouldn't they? Okay, but they, you can break that, and then you can come here. Yeah, I was going to say, there's no way that's not that. Then we can break that and get all the way back up. But then it seems like I still need that ice cube in order to make the jump to the... to the left there. Okay, let's time this right. Well, that wasn't it. Now. Okay. Yep, that does figure. Okay, but we can make it, so that's nice to know. Alright, that's good. So now how do we get up here? It's not like there's anything else I can do with the ice block here. I can go back around. Because even though... It's safe to walk there, but then there's still no place for me to push it. Oh, damn. Okay. Because it's stuck there, so what am I supposed to do with it then? That's right, those are spikes. It seems like we have everything except the end figured out. There was no way I could make it through there. What do I do with... The frickin' block. It does seem like I'm skipping a step, because it doesn't seem like using the glitch where, like, you can stand on the same square as the ice is what you're supposed to do. Well, that was just crap. Come on, now. <sighs> Home stretch. Everything's figured out except the last part. I mean, technically the middle isn't figured out either. Because the middle revolves around the thing that's preventing me from getting to the last part. Just trying to think while I move here. What if I forego the whole ice thing? And we just use it to get to the door. That falls. So there's that. Those would be spikes. 
I mean, it, there's no way to get up here now, right? To get back up here. Because nothing else is going to fall. And now that the ice is gone, I guess we see if we can do this without the ice. And it doesn't seem like that's possible at all. Unless there's like a step, that, if there's like a step I can skip some, god damn it. There we go. I know we could do it if there was a way we could have this. If there was a way we could shoot a mirror in between that part and this part. Uh, but that's obviously impossible. And there are... I know there's a mirror, like, beyond this rock. But it won't go. You know what? I think I can actually make that jump. <laughs> that was really scary. I think I can make that jump. I really do. So we just forget completely about the ice, and we, do we don't bother with it at all. And then we do everything else and save that for last. Okay, I'm excited because maybe this will work. I'm trying to think about it's an interesting thought I mean let me do that and yes currently there's no way I can get back up to the ice cube but that's gonna change so what I'm thinking is we're fine there. We wait for this. I don't think that's going to do anything. I don't think that helps at all. Well, that was obvious. That didn't help at all either. Uh, but then we can just do that. And then we can make this. Yes, we can. Okay, we don't even need the ice. Oh, that's such a relief. Yeah, that's fine. Alright. We can break you. We can break you. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, that means I have to do everything again. God. But we know now. We know the solution. Yes, we do. Oh, this has been a really fun learning experience, you have to admit. I mean, maybe not for you, but it has been for me. And I enjoy it so much. Especially because this is like... You know, we're getting right up to the end of Antarctica. Okay. Because this level isn't punishing. It's just really, really complex. And I like it. I like that a lot. Okay. There we go. Jump, yes. And then we can do that. And then break that, but don't... Well, I mean, there's no reason to break it, I guess. But, I mean, you can, just as long as you don't fall off. Okay. Now we have that area clear. And that's how you do that. And then you're going to start shooting. And then we make it. Okay. Okay. But then how do we get back up? Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. Then you hit this. No, you don't hit that. Not... No. Hit it back. Oh, wait, no. Don't hit... Okay. Hit it again. 
And now we can make it back and do this whole this whole thing again. That might be difficult. I might have screwed it up by like not doing something in the beginning. Right, because now how do I make it past this? Oh, man, that's a good question. We can make that. This doesn't fall. This is going to be a real tricky jump. It doesn't work. Then how can we possibly do it? If there was some way we could do it without breaking this rock the first time. But there isn't. Yeah, I don't know either, man. Because it's not like I can, like, fall and then hit it again. It might have something to do... I don't... This block is not necessary to my survival. What might be... Is keeping that... Keeping this part that falls alive... But there's no way. I'm thinking. There's still no way for me to get back up here. If there was, then I could just fall, like, to the... L well, if there was a way, I wouldn't need to do any of that stuff. Oh, yeah, Spike's there. This is such a brain-bender. Mm! Yes. I mean, I could maybe still do it if I make the best jump of my life at the end. Does that... Yeah, that breaks on the way down. If it stayed there, I bet still probably wouldn't have done anything. Okay. Okay. Okay, I almost didn't make it, I think. But then we're here. We have the key. We're up here again. There's no way... There's no way... So even if we do that, it doesn't make any difference. We still can't get back up here. How does this work? Yeah. And yeah, this is the blocks that I need. And there's no way to shoot this, like, preemptively. Is it really just going to come down to my ability to make this jump? 
if it's even possible. This does not seem possible at all, does it? I know I can't make it with a small jump. It has to be a big jump. Oh, and I fell off. Even with that extra distance, it doesn't seem possible. Of, like, me falling off. Unless there's something I can do down here. Uh, but why would there be? I just gotta check all my options. Because there's no other way to make these go. And I can't jump back up the other way. So these have to be in this position. Yeah, see, and that one falls before I even put my foot on it. There's no way to keep that there and make it go and go and get up there. There's no way in hell. And there's no way to get back down there from here either. It's not like you'd be you'd want to do that anyway. Well, that was retarded. Can any of these, like, be broken randomly somehow? For no reason whatsoever? I'm coming up here because I've never been here before. I wonder if it would, like, trigger something to fall, somehow. Doesn't appear to be the case. So it has nothing to do with that area. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Bad news. Yep, hit that wrong. If it maybe, like, you do launch the ice cube, and then you somehow trap it somewhere so you can get it back later. But I don't know how that would work either. Yeah. Well, that was a waste. Waste of a perfectly good life. I am absolutely dumbfounded. I mean, the solution to the last level turned out to be relatively simple, but it was in... But it was about, like, it was tied to a mechanic that I didn't understand about the game. I mean, is that the case here as well? Now, this is interesting. But this also doesn't help me. 
because I'd still need to get back up. Does the, the I if I could like exploit this system? Does that then I don't need the ice to come back? Then I ha can use it for something, but what would I use it for? Where would I keep it, and how would it help me? If I could somehow push it all the way somewhere, let me see. We're about to get crafty here. Oh my god. We're not about to get crafty here. We're gonna get crafty next time. Well, we're gonna get crafty the time after... The, the, this time. We're gonna get crafty this time. Even if I could get the ice block all the way down here, I could never push it where I need it to go. And uh, actually, that's not true. I could push it over here where these spikes are, and then that could get me all the way back up. Possibly. That is maybe what I'm supposed to do. I guess we'll see. Even though I can also pretty much guarantee that I'd be cheating if I did it by that method. Like, there's no way that that's what I'm supposed to do. Uh, but let's do it anyway. Push to the left. Ah, damn it. No, knock it off. I should jump down, immediately go and do that, and then jump over it and push it this way. And then it'll get stuck there. Then I'll be able to break that block and push it even further this way. This is... Wow. This is such high-level bullshit. Stick around. It's about to get really, really funky. I've got it in my head how to do it. But there's going to be so many steps to remember. So let's do this. Break that. Crap, crap, no! Well, time to die. I know I took too long in, in, the, in the little hallway corridor thing. So let's do better. I mean, how cool would it be if I could somehow just get up there by default without having to do anything? And it would be possible if I was, like, a different character. But then I would have to beat Antarctic all the Antarctic levels up to this point with that character in order to use it on this level. And that seems like a really tall order just to finish one level. Go. Go super fast. So, so fast. That's it. Here we go. Now we push you in the right spot. Now you're here. Now you're gonna, st you're gonna stay there. Then we're eventually gonna break the rock under you, and you're gonna go exactly where I want you to. And then I'll have to push you to the left. But that's good, because you'll be where I need you to be at that point. Okay. Things are looking up now. And I'm real excited for what's about to happen here. Ow, make that. Okay. Make this super intimidating jump. All right. Maybe shouldn't have... No, it doesn't matter if I broke that or not. Uh, the ice is never going to make its way there. We should do the ice first before we get the key, just to make sure that this works. Okay, let, let me plot this out. I'm going to break the rock. The ice is going to start sliding to the right. I'm going to need to jump around and underneath the block that shoots spikes, and then push it to the left. Then I'm going to need, to need to follow the ice until it hits this alcove here, and then I need to drop down below it and make sure, and then push it to the left and push it off. I hope you guys understood that. 
it's going to be such a pain to do. And you better, like, not just stay there. Okay. Okay, it just decided to stay there. Uh, so that's neat. Plan ruined, I guess. Oh my god, there's spikes there too. That would have killed me anyway then. My, my Grandmaster plan has been ruined because, you know, the ice doesn't just keep moving at that point. I want to try it one more time, and if I can't get it... I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen then. I still really think that this is what needs to be done. Okay. All right, we got you there. We'll push you all the way to the right as we can, because that will somehow help. I don't know. But we got to give it everything we got anyway. I mean, we're pretty much out of plans. We're out of options. So... I kept that block there for no reason. And it's not like I can do all this, like, prepare the path for it prior because I can't get back up if I am coming down here to do stuff. Yeah, you're still refusing to do what I need you to. <sighs> I mean, let's get the key just because we can, I guess. Yeah, we push you there, and you're, you know, dead. Or what? Well, not, like, stop moving. We could somehow push you from the other side, but that's impossible. I know that I needed to not have this. But this is basically not doable at this point, no matter what. I mean, that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, even though we did not get very far, hopefully we'll be able to get far. I'll figure it out. And then I'll show you, and then we'll have a couple more levels to do. Uh, so I, I, I guess I'll see you guys next time.